Oh yeah, I wasn't even recording. Alright, surround so jack stands now. I was about to say, why the heck is my FPS at like 10? Because usually when I start recording, that's better. Ron Jacks though, and this isn't really Haggard, it's just so if the gas tank falls, it doesn't fall on top of Hunter. It just kind of falls on these paint cans. Kicking the cut ass in the high gear, boy. Get this thing done soon. And by soon, I mean sooner than later. I can't fit a ratchet on top, so I gotta get a wrench. Yeah, you, there's like so much room for something on the top though, isn't there? No, it's like, well actually, hand me a deep well, I guess. <coughs> Deep well 14, boy. Getting no. Cut these damn bolts. Huh? You got an angle grinder. Yeah, I, I have a secret angle grinder. I haven't been telling you about. I mean, I never needed an angle grinder. I'm, I'm confused. You're not really coming up with too much uh, I'm sorry. info here. You need just... wrenches. All right. Well, you... My info. I mean, a 14 millimeter wrench. Well, how would a vice grip work? Most likely, yes. All right, well, then we'll go. Well, we were thinking that yesterday. You can tell the people. This is not the right way to take out a headliner. Is there? <coughs> are you supposed to? Okay, well, I don't I don't know if I can get in on that side. Plus, that door gives me a, that door's a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to crawl through here. All right, we're busting out this headliner. We're literally cutting it out. All right. Son of a gun. Good lord, Bessie. I exposed a lot of rust. We shouldn't have done this. I told you it was going to split. Here, open that up for me. Scissors are the way to go. Are they? Yes. Oh, I kind of like this steel. Oh, one. yeah. This looks nice already. Good lord. <laughs> here, scissor this for me. Oh, never mind. Here's that. Here, you rip it off, scissor off all the X skirts. Oh. Oh, there's an open knife somewhere. Oh, here it is. Phillips head. Somewhat properly. Somewhat properly, my ass. What? Nothing. Timber. <laughs> Hold on. What are you touch doing? Me. Don't touch me with it. Why? I don't know. It's nasty. What is this? This is like wire, Hunter. Oh, oh, rust everywhere. <laughs> Trade me. Why is it so low, anyways? It's yeah, metal. It's metal. I told you that. Y yitter ass. Oh, it's kind of chaotic here. This corroded it. Oh, shit. Corroded ass trim falls on my head. You're gonna have a lawsuit on your this hands. This is metal. Metal trim. Listen. Good lord. Heck what yeah. happened when you did this to yours? I got the trim and it was easy. No, like what happened when like shit fell, didn't it? On mine? Yeah. Oh, that? Uh, well, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Oh, you really think they had pop-out trim back then? Probably not. Boy, they welded all it. Son of a bitch, maybe they did. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to come out or not, but... It I did. mean... This is what the hood, this is what the ceiling's gonna look like now. We're gonna have like this much clearance. <laughs> Son of a gun. This is this is how low it used to be. Like you can't even see out of the rear window right now because all that trim. So this is like we're not doing something stupid. And I we can't see, we still can't see because there's another window down here. This keeps touching my head, freaking me out. <laughs> Turn the light over. <laughs> I helped you long term, though. What? <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I didn't not. I wasn't angry about that. <laughs> that was funny. I thought you got pissed. There's like fresh rust up there. That didn't even like 26 year old rust. That's like yesterday rust. Find it here. Where? Okay. It's wired in there. You're not a solder, right? Did, do you think that light was ever going to work again anyways? No. Alright then. Well that did not go as planned. Yeah, this light was never going to work anyways. I'm just going to cut the wires. Alright, you'll get a wire cutter. And I will continue taking out my full metal trim. Propulsion? <laughs> Why are you getting outside of the car? It scares me when you get outside the car. Son of a... Johnny Wiper, boy!
Johnny Wiper. <laughs> You're flinging crap everywhere. Not really getting anywhere with that one. All right, we should bring up an LED light bar up here. Okay, so you like stop ripping the door to my eyes. I swear to God. I don't think we should take them out. I think we should weld them to the roof. Yeah, or we should leave it for if we ever get this reupholstery. That would be functional. No, we're not doing that. You know that. You know we're not doing that. I know we might do that. You got to have at least three mirrors on your car, and after we take this, and oh. it's a flathead. Okay, make sure. Oh wait, I forgot your fancy. It's a pain in the ass to get those out of there. I love how back then, if you want to adjust them in your mirror, you should have to take a flathead to it, loosen it up real quick, adjust it, and then have someone tighten it for you. What's electronic about this, Hunter? Could you please tell me? I don't know, defroster. Oh, what the fuck? Is oh, it's got a light in it. Oh, we don't, we don't need the light, do we? Wait, tell me what this is, Hunter. What's your analysis? Rip it out. It's like, it's not even like wire, though. It's like metal. Should I just cut it? I know it's wire. You can cut it. We should paint the roof. Why? <laughs> it's all rusty. What color? Black, white, I don't know. Right. I got black on me. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I mean I have black paint on me. Oh. Ow! Punch the dang steering wheel! Hunter, we gotta throw all this crap away. Here's a dustpan if you need it. Dude, we got, guys, we got an extra seat on the top of the car now. <laughs> what was that for? Is this the end of day two? Is it? Is it? Say something. Two. Oh no, I'm like 2% right now. Oh, the light could have been on. Alright, we're removing the bonnet or hood. Whatever you want to call it. The keys. Hey, I, don't know if, uh, I don't know if it matters if this is up or not. What do you mean? That's an idiotic statement. I don't know how else to take it off. We'll get back to you when either we can't get it off or we do get it off. Well, P broke it, so he probably will. Got the hood off. It's on top of the car. By the way, this is like day four. <laughs> I think day, I, oh, this might be day five. I think day four is non-existent. It's on the hood, but uh, these things will not go down. We soaked them in oil, hoping them they uh, loosen up. But for now, they're stuck like that, so they're not quite muscle yet. <laughs> we got some windshield wiper ass looking brackets stuck there.